L'Oreal Pure Clay Anti-Blemish Mask. We're going to, talk, going to talk about this today. Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do and try to get this Pure Clay Anti-Blemish Mask from L'Oreal. If you've seen a couple of my videos, you already know maybe that I love L'Oreal Paris face mask. I use them all the time and I love them. I cannot switch between different masks, but they're all from L'Oreal and they're all pure clay. I love those masks. But these are for anti-blemish, 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 can't speak today. It's actually oh, nine o'clock in the evening and I'm very tired and it's been a very long, 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 long day today. As you can see, I uh, look like a mess and I'm going to remove my makeup today to try this. Now, I haven't tried this before because my skin was feeling better, but for a couple of days ago, I started getting a couple of blemishes, but they're like very small, very small all over my face. And uh, I want to try this mask and see if it's going to do something. Now, it's there have been different and uh, opinions about this mask. Some people think it's great. Some people say, yes, the skin feels and is nice and soft and smooth, but it didn't do anything for the, for the blemishes. Some people love it. So we'll see. I'm going to see what I think about this. Now, on the website, I'm on uh, Feel Unique's website, and they say, target toward for spot or blemishes prone skin. The L'Oreal Paris Laboratories have selected three pore clays and combinated them with marine algae extract known for its anti-blemish properties. The creamy texture of L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Blemish Red Rescue Mask talks deep into the pores to unclog blackheads and clean imperfections, leave the skin pure and fresh without drying, drying it out. And it says here to apply it on clear, clean skin, apply a thin layer all over the face two times per week, avoid the eyes and lips, uh, leave for to dry for five to ten minutes and then remove with a wet towel or with warm water. And I'm going to do that today. So we're going to try this. But before I do that, I'm going to try this cleansing wipes that I got in my glossy box for January and I'm going to use them to remove my makeup and see how these work. So if you want to see, please keep that, please keep on watching. My girl, it's been a very, very, very long day today and I'm so tired. I can't wait to remove my makeup. I look like a mess right now. I have to say they did remove a lot of my makeup and I know my skin is not as clean as I would like it to be right now, but these work fine. Kind of tingles on my skin, but my skin is a little bit dry today, especially around my lips and that's what it's tingling. Uh, I kind of like this. Nice. I'm going to use my favorite uh, cleansing water to remove the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, I removed my makeup. I need to put my hair up a little bit. And uh, I have to say that I haven't cleaned my pores for a couple of, uh, two weeks, I can say. And I have a little bit of blemishes here and some up here, a little bit smaller. They're not big because I'm using, uh, using this one. This is my Foreo. And I love this product. It really saves me from those big blemishes, pimples, call them what you want. And oh my God, my hair is like all over the place. Okay, uh, let's start. I need to, I'm going to open this. It looks nice. Of course, the packaging, packaging is exactly the same. Oh, I've got something in my eye. The packaging is exactly as uh, the others, but this one is blue. I love the colors for these co different masks. Oh, this one. 
Oh, this one smells very nice and looks beautiful. Look. And they said small amount. Thin layer. This is not a thin layer. Oh, this is a very, very soft. It's not as drying as the others when you apply it. And it kind of feels nice. It feels like a cream on my skin. And a little goes a long way. Let's see what it will do to my big ugly pores that I hate so much. I need to buy a brush or something to apply my ma masks because I don't like using my fingers. Now I always do, but I don't like I don't like that. So if you have a suggestion where I can buy a spatula or something to apply my mask, please let me know down below. I did try with dip different brushes, but that didn't work. Really didn't work. It did dry very fast. It has a nice but very strong smell. Uh, so if you're very sensitive to different uh, perfumes or different smells or scents, this is maybe going to be a little bit strong for you but it, because it has a very strong scent of flowers. Kind of uh, bothers me a little bit. I get easy headaches. And uh, this mask is kind of playing with my head a little bit. I kind of like this blue shade. This color looks so cute to me. Okay, we are going to leave this for... 5 to 10 minutes is 13 past 9, so let's leave this for a couple of minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, now it's 25 past 9 and I had this for a little bit of over 10 minutes and it's completely dry. It doesn't feel, you know, how to explain it, it doesn't feel heavy. It's dry and it doesn't kind of pull my skin like the other masks do that I, ca I can't I can't move my face. I can only use my lips like this. This one just didn't do the same thing and kind of looks cool. I can't see really if it did anything on my skin now. I don't know. But uh, I have to wash this and... Uh, oh, here it didn't dry. I have to wash this and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have to say, this was the easiest mask to wash out from my skin. It kind of, yeah, it kind of went fast, faster than the other L'Oreal mask that I tried. So this was, is uh, easy to remove. Though, the smell is so strong, the scent of the, this kind of manly perfume, I have to say. I can still smell it on my skin. My, I feel like I just washed my face with men men's perfume that's how it smells and it's a little bit too strong for my sensitive nose and uh, my headache so that's the mice that's what I don't like the smell I don't like the smell it doesn't smell bad but it smells too strong and still I, I can still smell it on my skin okay let's see the results yes I agree my skin feels smooth and it feels very very soft though uh, I still can see those breakouts that I had here around but my skin is not as ready as it was before the mask so I my pores uh, I don't know I don't know I, I'm not really sure if this worked as good as I wished I probably need to try this couple of uh, times maybe two three times a week to tell you guys what I really think about it. Right now I'm not very impressed as I um, was with the other products that I tried from L'Oreal or the other masks. So it's not their best I can say because I always, I'm kind of picky. I want the results fast and I want to see something from the first use. And right now it does look, my skin looks fresher but I get that with other mask that don't smell as half strong as this one god is this the scent why do they what's what's in here 
that smells like men's perfume. I don't know. It's kind of too strong. I, I need to go and wash my face again. This is... I can't... I can't take it. It's... Did I get it in my nose or something? I don't know. It's... I, oh, it's too... It's too strong. I don't know if you tried it. Please let me know down below if you tried this mask and what you think about it. I just think the smell is a little bit too strong. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not very impressed from the first use. Maybe I should use it a couple of times just to tell you and see how I feel after afterwards. But right now, I'm kind of not impressed. Yeah, guys, that was everything I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.